What it do guys, welcome back to Spaz the Riches, I am your boy Spaz, that's S-P-A-Z-Z And today, we are going to be watching NASCAR's worst injuries Now this video was requested by one of you and I decided, hey why not, let's do it, you know I like doing y'all videos, if y'all request a video, I'll do a video for you If not, I just go down the rabbit hole, find one and hopefully it do good, you feel me? <laughs> I know, but uh you know, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and uh, smash that like button for everyone, new or not, just go ahead and smash that like button. We're going to jump right into the video. Let go. Those two cars in the front are getting out there and, and the guys have a chance to gain some momentum on them as this pack catches them. They, they can't do this for 10 oh, laps. Eric Jones around. Back oh, across the field. Mm. The big one, part two at Daytona. Yeah, they can't oh, do dang. this. A horrific crash for Kyle Busch, who slid through the infield grass and went head on into the inside wall. And he is climbing from that car, and, and that is an unbelievable sight. Wow. And they've stabilized or tried to that, that right leg. And we'll continue to follow the story with Kyle Busch, injured in a crash here at Daytona. And while we were just... You see how all them cars just flew, though? One wreck, and all the cars go. Coming back, there was an incident on pit lane. We'll update you as soon as we get more information. It involved the 77 of Ron Hornaday. Let's go back and take a look. The 25 of Richard Johns was coming in. Here is the 77, and here's 25, and watch what happens. Oh, the tire carrier on the right. Oh, light. shit, he hit the tire, man. Oh my God. And then the tire just got the nerve to sit on top of the car like, yeah, nah, bro, I'm gonna chill up here. You go ahead and lay down, you know, it's over for you. Go ahead and ice that. I'm just gonna stay right here. Damn. Front. You know what, that, that, that pit road is dangerous. These guys have to be very, very careful. Hopefully you didn't break a leg or something. Well, thank goodness. They make them wear the helmets and you can see and these guys are athletes. Absolutely. It looks like he's up and he's walking. We'll get an update from pit lane as soon as we can. And now the latest uninjured cup driver, Jerry Nadeau, the 32-year-old who had to be cut out of his MBV Motorsports Pontiac Friday at Richmond after a hard practice wreck in the first and second corners. Nadeau remains tonight in critical but stable condition in the intensive care unit at Virginia Commonwealth Medical Center in Richmond. He has head, lung, and rib injuries. Now, the Hartford Current is reporting tonight that a source close to Nadeau says the kinetic... Head, lung, and rib injury. See, remember on my last video, I said I stick to, uh, you know, football and basketball and stuff, you know, whichever safer. This is why. I mean, you can get a head injury in basketball if you fall wrong, you know, stuff like that. But it's, it's this right here is just like, bring on the pain. A native suffered a skull fracture in the wreck and is in a medically induced coma to facilitate treatment. Team general manager Jay Fry told us yesterday that Nadu was responding to visitors, although he is not speaking. The wreck is skull fracture. Oh my God, no! We say happened during Cup practice Friday afternoon at Richmond. Nadu apparently went into turn one a little too high, maybe trying to find a different line. No rubber down there. The rear end of the car slipped up. He went around and side slapped the concrete. Driver's side two. A team member telling Speed News they do spoke briefly to his crew on the radio after impact before falling unconscious. The 38 car, Elliot Sadler, right side tire changes are going on the jack, and he's down the line. Oh, oh he hits the 43. Our crewman's down. Michael Waltrip is on pit road. It's a four tire change. He said he had no idea what happened out there. They took four because they're four laps short. He's going to have to come back and top off. Back to you, Matt. Watch the 43 cars trying to come into his pit. And Elliot's trying to leave. He just hooks the left rear. And those poor guys are, they got nowhere oh, to go. Oh, man, that jack man gets knocked about 10 feet down the racetrack. Fortunately, he didn't get run over by the 38 car once he got thrown down the racetrack. Watch here. Mm. He took a hit. Well, he's getting a nice push from him. Oh, oh trouble. Harvick's around. Oh, got spun on the back side by the 43. Oh, 
McClure is going to be transported to the University of Alabama Birmingham Medical Center for further treatment. And again, any update that we have, we will pass along as soon as... For, the one, for whoever suggested this video for me, I got to go back and look. But for you who suggested this video for me, yo, I like it already. I already started cringing and everything, yo. Hey, I fucks with it. I mean, I don't fucks with the, the injuries and stuff like that. Like, I, I'm definitely not, definitely not wouldn't, no, no. Possible. Colin Pawsey right here. Yeah, he's just front right carrying right in the grill, but boy, to a driver, and he get his foot caught underneath that splitter. Yeah. And, you know, for a driver, when the, normally when the jack is dropped, that's his signal to go. Uh, so, you know, Carl Edwards did what he's supposed to do, but he just didn't quite get out of the way quick enough. The car is too free at the beginning of a run to hustle, but then it comes in nicely. And we have a huge fire on the pit lane. It looks like it's right down around it's, the Eric McClure. We got a guy on area. fire too behind the wall. Oh my goodness, a scary situation on pit road here at Richmond. Safety workers were quickly there to extinguish the fire. Anthony O'Brien, the rear tire changer, doing his job, and watch what happens. And we saw O'Brien while we were away in commercial being transported and there were crew members all around that fire we also saw o'brien giving everyone the thumbs That's up a yeah, awake job. and alert and we, we, we certainly don't know the extent of his injuries and this could very well be the the fuel man who also was in the middle of the fire and and i believe brad it was o'brien seen here that was on the other side of the pit wall that you yeah. referred to that was running away on fire each other they weren't watch Here's his that watch his car watch the back of the car Ooh, i mean the whole car just came up off the ground and i don't see any safer barrier in that area right there i don't either larry I'm a little, i am a little concerned for denny because that was an incredibly hard hit so that's denny hamlin being attended to at the scene well in that six of ricky stenhouse remember they talked about the they was neck and neck. They should have just let it be a photo finish. He got hurt. Damn. The fact that the car's been on the splitter. It's a four-tire change. Also making a chassis Get adjustment up, to guys. help him with the splitter. He says he can't attack the corner the way he wants because the way the car's banging on that splitter. Having a little trouble there on the left side, guys. Well, what happened is Ricky drove around the car that was behind the box, uh, the box behind him. He got on the brakes a little bit too hard. It looks like he slid a little closer to that wall than he wanted to. Jack Pitt had trouble. Back him up, back him up. Yeah, they got big problems. The bad pits are going to have to Guys, keep an eye on the jack man. That's Jeremy Neely. There he is on the left uh, rear tire. Now he's grabbing the jack. Now, when he runs around the front, watch him hop right here. When he came down, you can't see it there, but he fell and suffered a knee injury. You'll better look at it right here. Oh, oh. yeah, there, there's where the problem was. So that's what caused them such a delay to begin with. Uh, you mentioned Carl, him having to come around the 40, and then when Jeremy Neely suffered that knee injury, that delayed them even further. They have taken him to the medical center for evaluation. We're going to crash on the home stretch. A car upside down. And that's a Richard blue Petty. car. It is Richard Petty. I jumped off the score mm. stand and started. That looked bad. Like, that looked bad. Running as fast as I could. I was working uh, in the booth with Jim McKay for ABC. The position that he was in, it, it looked like blood coming out. It was a scary scene. At that time, I used to run with a rag in my mouth. Well, them rags got to coming out the windows and stuff and looked terrible. I think the TV camera said, you know, get away from that. It, He's coming apart in that, inside that car. And he certainly appears to be unconscious. The pit crew running out. This could be a very bad accident to one of the best known race drivers in the world. 
Welcome back to Pocono. Under caution for the second time, I'm Ray Dunlap along with Phil Parsons. Jim Trado and Heather DeBeau are covering our pits today, and we had a brake failure of some sorts for Gus Dean. Here is car number 98 coming into the pits, Phil. Yeah, he looks like he's able to slow a little bit, but, oh, man, Damn. wasn't quite oh. able to get it stopped. And oh, shit. Bro, hurt, yo. It's the pit, it's the pit failures. It's whenever people get injured during pit stops. That's the ones that really get to me because it's like, this is a car hitting a person. They are doing all kinds of flips and shit. Oh my God. Or whenever some fire start, no. Damn. Look at the contact he made with our Jackman and front tire changer. We have an onboard from uh, Gree Cooling Products, and we see that Pedro Martinez, who is the tire changer, got up immediately. Now, from onboard, look at this. John had the jack in his hand, and they tried to make evasive action of some kind, but Gus wasn't able to stop at all, and you saw that car completely spin around. Thanks, Harry. Did you hear him, Marty? He was saving it. He had something left. Oh, I'll tell you. It, it, this is so much fun. Uh, uh, bad news oh, for Dave Marcus fans. Oh, no. Oh, and Larry Pearson is going to slam the wall as he turns it around. Oh! oh! And Charlie Glotzbach T-bones him. Red flag is immediately displayed at start finish. And there is Charlie Glotzbach. Hey, somebody tell me in the comment section because I know y'all will because y'all real good at letting me know stuff. What's a, uh, what's a red flag? Like, um... Like, what does the red flag mean? Does that mean, like, stop the race completely, you know, so everybody can figure out what's going on? Or is that, like, a penalty on the one that ran into him or something? Like, what's a red flag? I don't, I don't really know. As he has climbed out of his car, and uh, Charlie, at the age of 71, from Edwardsville, Indiana, being assisted over to the medical care unit. And uh, it's good to see that uh, he is walking with some assistance but uh getting some oxygen there and there you see in the distance uh the crews working on the 21 of larry pearson we still do not have any word from medical officials so uh unfortunately there's nothing we can tell you right now and the right side of kyle bush's car was uh, in his way getting crowded up there in the front right now with the 42 oh Whoa, trouble big big, big crash danica patrick and joey logano oh. Holy spooly. Yeah, he's had an amateur hitting. Those, those cars are killed. Safety workers assisting Eric Almirola, uh, who we could see was conscious and talking to the workers inside the race car. Uh, the AMR medical crew. New this year to NASCAR along with the uh, Speedway rescue crew. Looks like they're going to do some surgery on the roof of that car. Dang. Yo, this was a good video. It's like, yo, I'm going to do some more videos like this. But anyway, uh, if you guys, like I said in the beginning, if you have any video requests, worse injuries, worse crashes, whatever, you want to see, uh, you know, send them to me in the description below or ask me to look it up. I'll look it up, do the best of my ability, find it, and I'll react with you guys. I don't watch these videos before I react to them, uh, so everything is new to me whenever I see them. And it's, yo, this right here, this right here was a good one to react to, because dang... Oh my God, that was just, wow. Some of these pit start, pit stops, that one that had a jack in the hand, bro never got up. That was, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, maybe he went to the hospital and he was okay, but the nigga didn't get up, so it was just like, dang. But uh, yeah, um, what is it? As always, like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, turn on that post notification button. If you haven't already done that, it's the little bell and then you can get notified every time i post another video and with that being said you like how i talk uh -huh. you like how i walk uh -huh. you like the social nigga boss you know what i'm on huh oh you cap bitch you weak
Bitch, you lying on that lying on that shit. For your seven kill, I'll take the gun off your hip. Dish you that shit like a feel. Don't do young hoes.